Hello everybody, hope you guys are doing great. Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I will be doing a comparative analysis between St. Xavier's Mumbai and Christ University Bangalore. Now, if you are an undergrad student or a postgrad student, I'm pretty sure or both these universities would be on your radar and I'm pretty sure you would be confused as to which one should join and what are the pros and the cons of joining either of these universities. So make sure you watch this video till the very end because I'm pretty sure I will be clearing each and every doubt that you have in your mind. First and foremost, some key highlights of St. Xavier's College, Mumbai. So it was started in the year 1869, again, one of the oldest universities in India. Uh, it is affiliated with Mumbai University and it is managed by the private Roman Catholics. So again, the principals and everybody there are fathers. How to get admission in St. Xavier's or Christ? So for St. Xavier's, they have a merit-based selection, which means they take your class 12 marks into consideration and according to that, the cutoff is decided and then you are known whether you are selected or not. For a few courses such as BMS, they also have a full-fledged two-hour entrance test and after the entrance test is done, then again, a listings are released as to who made it through or who didn't. For Christ University, you have your Christ University entrance test followed by a personal interview and a micro presentation which is compulsory for each and everybody to do and only after that your results are declared. Talking about the infrastructure of St. Xavier's Mumbai, first of all St. Xavier's is located in one of the very good areas of Mumbai. Even though St. Xavier's has a very ancient building and it gives a very royal look, from the inside I still feel that the infrastructure can be a little better and modern. Reading a lot of reviews and also talking to one of the students from St. Xavier's, uh, I found that the classes and all are not very well equipped and it's not very high-tech even though it still has all the basic necessities that are needed but still things such as no sports room no music room no labs all of these things are not there whereas all these things you would find in a private university like Christ the classes are pretty modern and high-tech or uh, there are huge libraries and they've got huge area for football fields, hockey fields, multiple basketball courts and all of that. Obviously, St. Xavier's being in Mumbai doesn't afford the luxury of a lot of space, but still, it does have everything that is required. Talking about the key points of difference, so guys, St. Xavier's just has about 28 courses across, uh, be it for PG, undergrad, all of that mix. In total, there are 28 courses, whereas Christ University has 170 courses across. So your chance of getting the course that you really want to do uh, would be way higher in Christ University than in St. Xavier's. Second problem with St. Xavier's is that they have very, very less seats, okay? Uh, for like say a normal BMS course, they have just about 60 seats. Whereas for other courses, they have about 300 seats, 240 seats, all of that. Whereas for Christ University, obviously the number is way higher because multiple courses and then each of the courses, they have various sections like A, B, C, D. So in terms of number of seats, you would have a lot more seats in Christ University. Along with that, St. Xavier's has a quota reservation. That means uh, there are hardly about 45 to 50 percent of the seats left for the general category, whereas the others are reserved 15 percent for management quota and the other for Christian community as well as for other backward classes. Whereas Christ University does not have a lot of quota system, so a lot of general seats are there in Christ University, which is not the case with St. Xavier's. So even if St. Xavier's is like the topmost priority of a lot of students who are looking for a good undergrad course or a postgrad course, not a lot of people can make it through because of being very very less number of seats left in St. Xavier's in comparison to that of Christ University. Another reason why St. Xavier's is one of the top most priorities of a lot of undergrad students is very less fees. Their fees starts from about 5,000 rupees to a maximum of about 34, 35,000 rupees which is very less in comparison to that of Christ University which again is from 40,000, 50,000 and goes up to lakhs of like uh, 1 lakh 50,000, 1 lakh 80,000 all of that. So again in terms of number uh, the fees in Christ, uh, St. Xavier's is very less. So even if St. Xavier's is in Mumbai and you're spending a lot of money staying in Mumbai, your college fees just compensates for all of that because, you know, uh, in comparison to other universities, St. Xavier's is very less in terms of the fees. Now, another great thing about St. Xavier's is that it has a lot of fests. Uh, I think the number, if the person that I was talking to, he said that they have more than 15 fests across the whole year, which is a lot. Uh, whereas Christ University also has a lot of events in fest, but the number is not huge. Like obviously, because Christ University has got multiple departments, or so some of the other department would be having uh, one or two fests every now and then. But if you talk it in terms of one department, no, not one department doesn't have more than 15 fests, which is the case with St. Xavier's. Okay. Uh, the, another thing in terms of difference is that St. Xavier's does not have a very rigorous curriculum, okay, and which Christ University does. So, I mean, in terms of uh, pushing you to do a lot of research and going out to find various unique ways of doing things and all of that, it's not the case with St. Xavier's, whereas you would find that thing uh, with Christ University. Along with that, St. Xavier's is not as strict 
as uh, Christ University is. First of all, both of them are run by the Christian community, so they are uh, pretty, pretty strict, okay, with the kind of dress code and everything. But in comparison, Christ is a little more strict than St. Xavier's. So even if St. Xavier will say, even if St. Xavier's has early morning classes and they also have attendance of 75%, 80% minimum, uh, Christ University, you know, this goes a notch, notch higher. They have 85% minimum attendance and all of that. So the rules and regulations in Christ University are a little more strict in Saint, than in St. Xavier's. Also, since St. Xavier's comes with a history and a legacy, their alumni base is way stronger than that of Christ University. There are also a few similarities now. The placements that you get in St. Xavier's and in Christ University are pretty good and decent. Naturally, because St. Xavier's has very less number of people to place, uh, their definitely quality placements can become higher. But in general, uh, the quality of placements are good both at St. Xavier's as well as in uh, Christ. But yeah, just because you're spending so less money for your undergrad, the value of the placement that you get just becomes uh, way, way better. All right. Talking about the crowd, uh, now naturally what I mean to say by the crowd is that all the people who get in both for Christ University and for St. Xavier's are really good people in the quality of crowd. Naturally, the diversity would be one point that you need to question because Christ University having more than 20,000 people whereas St. Xavier's I think has about 1,800 or maximum 2,000 people across uh, Mumbai campus. So in that sense, I think the diversity in Christ University would be way better. But again, the quality of crowd that gets into the campus is pretty good in both of these uh, universities. So yes, guys, that is majorly it for this video. I hope you like like this video if you like this video do give it a thumbs up comment below if you still have any doubts question queries remaining uh, likewise please share this video with as many people as you can and help them make a better decision last but not the least please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you guys can receive regular updates of whenever i'm uploading any new video take care guys see you soon with another video